Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I hope you are all doing very well. The Lord has given me this prophetic word to release today. Remember to take every word you hear to the Lord and ask Him for confirmation. Believe in no man or woman, but only in the one true God. I will type out this prophetic word and I will put the link down in the description of this video for you, where you can go and have a read through it in your own time. So before I read this word, I will just pray over it. My beautiful God, Lord, we just thank you so much for your words that you release to your people. We thank you, my Lord, that you make your heart known so that we can know the pathways to take with you. My beautiful King, I come in the name of Jesus and I ask that you will let this word reach whoever needs to hear it and that it will be good seeds, Lord, that will fall on their hearts to heal the hundredfold return harvest for you. And my Lord, I bind and I break by the power of your blood any attempt of Satan to hinder this word from reaching those who need to hear it in Jesus' most holy and powerful name. Amen. Okay, so the Lord said, Time is short. The days are progressing quicker now. The earth is in wonder and dismay. I hear the people saying, Where is time going? It is passing by so fast. Is there a minute to waste? Is there a minute to spare? These are the words that are reaching my throne in heaven. Do the people not know? Do the people not understand? I am the God of time. I created times and seasons, and I can speed up time, stop time, and slow time down. Why are things increasing in speed? Why does it seem like less gets done in a day? Is it not because of my mighty outstretched arm that is accelerating time? Things need to happen quickly, and things need to fall in place for my ordained purposes in the earth. Can a man add a single hour to his life? If he can't, then why does he act like he has all the time in the world to get his affairs in order? Why does he act like there is plenty of time to turn from his wickedness and seek my face? Later, I hear, does man not know that he is but a breath, a vapor that is visible for a short time and then disappears? Man's days are fleeting. He does not know the day or the hour of when his life will come to an end. Does a man know when his days have been cut short? Does he not act and think that his days are many and then suddenly he is no more? So why then do people act like they have all the time in the world before they need to make things right with me and seek me with all their heart? Many are stubborn. They prefer their own way to mine. Would it not be as in the times of Noah where people will be busy building houses, throwing parties, go after earthly gain and then suddenly calamities befall them and by then it is too late for them to turn and repent. I have made my heart known to mankind. Those who listen and receive me will have me. Those who forsake me will perish. Get your houses in order. Time is ticking. My beautiful God, Lord, we thank you so much that you are always after everyone to come to eternal salvation. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for all those, Lord, who know of you but refuse to turn. I just pray, Lord, that you put the urgency of the hour in their spirits to make sure that they get their affairs in order with you. Those who don't know you yet, my Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you keep sending out your angels, Lord, and people to sow seeds in their lives so they can learn about you to turn from their ways and to serve you, my beautiful King Jesus. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.